What is going on, fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here, and today we are talking about the people of Butcher Creek. Now, this whole place is very strange. Like, it's one of the strangest places in Red Dead Redemption 2 besides the swamp. Now, if you guys don't know the story of the Butcher's Creek people, it's a very, very sad and uh, interesting one. Now, the whole place is sort of sheltered. They are a people that do not take kindly to strangers and outsiders, as you heard how that guy said. And they generally believe, like genuinely believe they are cursed. They are a cursed people. Now, throughout your story of you playing Red Dead Redemption 2, this guy right here on the porch is someone you can actually talk to for a mission. And this guy just called me stupid. Now, if you come to this location and bother the people of Butcher's Creek, you are going to be in for a heap of serious trouble. What's also cool in Red Dead Redemption 2 story is the fact that at Butcher's Creek, you'll actually find a mask you may not own. This mask is specifically the pig mask, which is right, it's right here. This pig mask is free for you to grab and it just hangs right here at the uh, Butcher's Creek Butcher, I guess it is. Now, I mean, I wouldn't recommend wearing it as it's a little weird, but you can if you want. Being here, recommend not wearing any mask or bandana. What the dicks? By the way, the goat here is a total a-hole. He's just super rude. And I've heard rumors that the goats here are raised and then slaughtered. And if you guys look around, there's lots of really... Like, there's a lot of dead animals. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, look, this is a whole table of pelts. Like, that's a lot of freaking pelts. But the weird stuff doesn't stop or start there. There's actually a dude that lives here that's been, well, affected. This dude's been affected in the most negative way possible due to some unfortunate events in the area. And we'll get to it. That doesn't stop him. This dude is a veteran banjo player. I mean... Dude is like on the grind, dudes. He's got this big, he got, he gets, he's got a lot going on here. That does not stop him from putting and breaking down the tunes. But as you guys can see all throughout Butcher's Creek, there's a lot going on. This whole area is, I want to say cursed, but it's not really cursed. And without any spoilers, you'll actually do a mission in Butcher's Creek. That's called, I think Butcher's Creek is cursed. Inside here, if you guys listen, there's a guy throwing up. You gotta wait for him to throw up again. He just finished throwing up. Now, I don't know what it is with the Butcher's Creek and Bones, but it's a little weird. It's like really weird. Like there's a way better way to dis, you know, dispose of Bones. And they definitely aren't, whoa, what the hell? Uh, uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? These are human skulls, by the way, guys. Just gonna throw that out there. And that lady was just underneath the freaking house. How did she, how did she get down there? I don't know if this house has an interior. It doesn't look like it does, but that was weird, dudes. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you do this mission. It's one of them is called the Poisonous Trail. I don't know if this is considered a spoiler. I don't think so, but the people of Butcher Creek are the way they are because of the water that they drink. This water right here, if you guys look, is really, really nasty. As you guys can probably tell, this is not a, a good source of water and food they should be fishing and eating from. That's why so many of the Butcher Creek people are so deformed and have so many problems with their body, like this guy. As you guys can see, his skin is all jacked up. The root cause of all this is a cave nearby that's actually poisoning the water. As you guys can see, uh, this guy's sort of frozen. We're just gonna ignore that guy. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of issues with the people here. I mean, you guys see the banjo guy. He's like directly impacted by the, the issue nearby. This problem can be found right here at the Lysian Pool. The Lysian Pool where this river comes from is contaminated and these people are drinking this water like it's freaking Dasani or Fiji water like it's the best thing ever. What makes this whole area even weirder is this specific house. Now, this is one of very, very weird locations in Red Dead Redemption 2. They have this shack that's located a little bit on the outskirts of Butcher's Creek. Not only is this super weird, but really, really, really weird. First things first. Like I mentioned earlier, 
Lots of bones, lots of hanging animals, lots of things that just are very, very out of place. These people don't seem to really care what's like they're surrounding. And a lot of the goats here are normally like very pristine condition. Goats have a very, very direct correlation to sacrifices and all that stuff. So this is where it gets really weird. As you guys can probably see on the floor, there's blood right here. This blood, which you can barely see through the lighting, doesn't stop there. There's actually a blood trail that goes all the way up here and into this weird shack now at first you're like oh the shack is a regular shack if you go around to this side you can see that the shack has a door but unfortunately can't get into this door this door is blocked off what you can do is crawl through here and upon entering you're met with some very weird tools a saw and a hammer and of course an area where they hold prisoners. They actually kill humans here at Butcher's Creek. Like, this pool of blood really showcases how serious this is. And I don't know when or why or what the Butcher's Creek people really do. But overall, the whole mystery surrounding the Butcher's Creek people is really, really weird. They are not a normal village of people. Like, this isn't like your Sunday school like afternoon people that you want to go to church with these are some really really twisted freaky people that aren't all there in the head they've been living most of their lives out here in this little community they've they've killed some stuff dudes like they've they've seen some stuff <laughs> so what i think is gonna happen i think we're gonna check out the butcher's creek people a little bit more we're gonna how you doing we're gonna really investigate the butcher's creek people because not only are we gonna do that but we're gonna investigate every single one of these houses in a future video i want to go inside every single one of their homes because we have a way to do it it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to get that video to you guys but i plan on going inside of every single house to really investigate the people of butcher's creek because there's a lot more here than meets the eye and they're hiding some serious stuff not only that but there are a lot of random little houses and people uh -oh, Mr. that i really want to investigate like this guy you look pretty drunk partner. he's super drunk unfortunately we can't go inside of his house and this guy's blind okay. apparently i feel like there's a way that we could really really learn a lot about the butcher's creek people like that guy think he has the devils in him and i've always found it weird that there's a lot of ladders that go on a lot of the roofs but you really can't go inside the house in any of them we're gonna do it we're gonna go inside some of these houses but we're gonna have to glitch our way in this shed right here we're gonna be taking a super close look at very very soon because this shed is super weird like really 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 weird especially the fact that this guy's just out here sharpening knives what did i what did i do to this guy i just said hello to this guy and he freaked out Keep your hair off. calm down bud calm down now to really set in stone how weird the people of butcher creek are these guys over here are are freaking watching these dudes now i believe these people are the um are the gang what are they called again i wish i had my freaking gun I like how they all look the same, too. There we go. I forgot the name of these people. The Murphy Brood. Now, the Murphy Broods also got some very, very messed up features, as you guys can see. Now, the Murphy Brood has their own problems, but they also drink from the Elysian Pool. Now, at first glance, this water looks great. You're like, man, how is it possible that this water is causing anybody problems? But... The Murphy Brood and the people of Butcher's Creek, which in somehow I believe are somehow connected because they look very similar. They all drink from this very, very contaminated water. And the way you know it's contaminated is when you go to the waterfall of this lake, you'll see there's actually like poison coming out of it. And this is the poison, as you guys can see. This is not normal colored water. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, we actually did a mission that took us through this whole cave and unlocked some very, very big secrets. So if you guys have not seen those videos, make sure you guys go check them out. There's actually a treasure map in here. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of nastiness also in here that's causing these people so many problems. Like this is just not normal water. This is considered the, the poisonous trail. To wrap this video up, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the mystery of the Butcher's Creek people, solving their deformities and looking at some of the very strange things they do in their free time. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, drop a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Later, guys.